Let's see if there's any changes here in the rotations as we start out the second set. Best three out of five. Slade setting up Scott. Diving get by Van Zandt and then put away by Hancock. Couple of kills for her. As the 5'11 setter went up and took care of it. Being a southpaw can be so problematic, and she will step right back and serve here right away. Almost a collision on that first contact for the Huskies. A little tight for McClendon, but it worked anyways. Point Penn State. Well, Washington came out, and they definitely changed their serving order to try to get a different matchup. Normally, Krista Van Zandt starts in the front row at left front. She's in middle back right now. Of course, Penn State wants to go to their hot server. Micah Hancock, finally her first service miss. It is a higher error serve, but boy, has she been effective so far this match. You gotta love, though, the message from Russ Rose is trying to step on the throw right away by sending Hancock out to lead off as the setter. Not quite as good a role as she had in that first set, and now it's McClendon. Good get by Orlandini, the four-year starter, but the block is there for Penn State. And Karch, statistically, it was the best block in the country this year. It sure was. And McClendon blocking on the right side. That's not her normal position when she's on defense. She got stuck in transition there and sealed the line well against Cassie Strickland. Back to the middle, Sebeldin. Net violation on Penn State. That's their third of the match. Point Washington. Let's see if they can get their serve going. They had that great line when we were talking to them yesterday. They emphasized serving all the time. They said, sir, your serve is your baby. Or your or boyfriend. Your boyfriend. <laughs> you got to take care of it either way. And Strickland also high risk, high error. Coming into the match here in the NCAA tournament, they had 23 aces and just 25 errors, which is a fantastic percentage. But the error there from Cassie. You know, most of the Washington players espouse that very effective serve. It's a jump float. They don't put any spin on it. They try to serve it and contact it like a knuckleball. Have it come over the net clean and flat. Point Penn State. For the Nittany Lions, they stayed at home to beat Brooklyn and Utah, then hit the road to knock out Michigan State, and then that big showdown with Stanford where they had to rally in the fifth set to win it. Lacey Fuller on to serve. Hancock. The touch for Megan Courtney. Got it. Point Penn State. The Huskies had a similar struggle in the region final after they blew through Alabama State, LSU, and Kansas, and then fought off a pair of match points at USC to come back and win in the fifth. And now the question for the Huskies that Maria alluded to, Karch, from Jim McLaughlin, how do you bounce back from your worst set loss of the season in that opening set? The trick is just to play not only a new set, but just one single play at a time. That's the only way you're going to come up with success against a top seed like a Penn State. Net was moving on that one. Who touched it? It was on the Washington side, point Penn State. Nittany Lions out hitting Washington 500 to 119 thus far. And here comes another jump spin serve, attack serve. Paulina Prieto Cerami. 
Orlandini with the pass and the set for Van Center. Sliding behind is Grant, got it down. Wow, what a nice play by Mia Grant. Watch her walk to her, she was on the left side and she comes all the way across to the right side of the court. That's what we call transition, going from being a blocker to being, being an attacker. And it presents a lot of trouble for opponents when they try to slow down your offense. Point for the Huskies is they use the Hancock block. Sam. Junior out of Redlands, California, the Pac-12 Player of the Year, the regional outstanding player last weekend. Mankot looking out to Deja McClendon, got it. Six kills for Deja. Deja keeps finding there's a tiny space, just, a, just about three inches bigger than the width or the diameter of the ball, but she spreads the needle and finds another kill. Really good vision. The only way you can do that is if you keep the ball a little in front of you. Don't run under it. Guys, Cassie Strickland was just taken out of the game, and coaches wanted to spend some time telling her if she's going to be a smaller hitter on the outside, she's got to wait on it a little bit longer. He feels like she's getting underneath the ball. He wants her looking for high hands as well. And Maria, that's number eight for the Huskies. Uh, Strickland at 5'8". Going up against the much taller blockers on the Penn State side. Penn State picks up the point. 10-6 here in the second. They dominated in the opening set tonight. And here is Hancock. Along with Samantha Bricio at USC, the top two servers in the country this year. The pass there from Van Zant. Slay with the set to McClendon. McGarris, back set. Nelson couldn't put it down. McClendon's going to get a swing. Back outside. Nelson down the line. Gonzalez was there. McGarris. Good play by McClendon to help out. And coming down the line, Ariel Scott. Boy, I sure that, like that. If you're not going to be a blocker, you got to help on this play. What an up by the Libero for Penn State. And then you got the line hit. Watch right here. McClendon helping out, staying involved in the play even though she wasn't a blocker and she creates the scoring opportunity for Penn State. Five kills for Scott coming off one of her best showings of the year had 22 kills in the region final against Stanford. You hear it all the time this time of year playing with that senior urgency to add to the Penn State legacy the tradition of five championships. A sixth would tie for the most in the history of the sport with the Stanford Cardinal. And Penn State doubling up Washington here in the second. And welcome back to the national semis. They're going to try and find more of Krista Van Zant here for Washington to get yeah. back in it. And so she has to pass and then become an attacker, and she does a really nice job of that. All strong out outside hitters have to be able to make the first contact and the third. Number one, two, and there's the third. Nice high swing. That's a big part of that job, is controlling the serve of the opponents in a position where you can still be a great hitter or your other hitters can get the, receive the ball from, from the setter, from the quarterback of the offense. Five kills hitting 158 for Washington. It has been all Penn State thus far. They're out blocking UW five zip. Deja McClendon has seven kills. They have just one swinging error throughout the entire match. 
Yeah, I sure I'm impressed with Penn State. Deja McClendon getting her hands way across the net. In volleyball, you want to jump high, but you want to get your hands into the opponent's airspace. And that created the stuff for Penn State in the point. Except for Nelson. No touch for Penn State. And what will happen is you get a stuff and it makes another yeah. point. The next one, the hitter's trying to avoid the block, which is exactly what happened there. She avoided it too well and it went eight feet out of bounds. Washington now hitting 075, 16 kills but 12 errors. And uh, McGarris unable to link up there with Sabeldin and things are coming apart here for the Huskies in the second. Well, Hancock gets this pass so high, it changes the timing of the Washington offense. They misconnect, and now it's 16 kills and 13 errors. They're almost under 50. Nindy Lyons leading in the match, and here in the second, 50 to 6. Welcome back to Key Arena for the national semifinals. I'm joined now by Olympic gold medalist Carrie Walsh. Thank you for joining us again. And you know, you were here earlier to watch number one seed of Texas go down. What did you think about the match and the kind of parody that we're seeing in college volleyball now? Oh my gosh, it was so fun. I'm still like fired up for that match. You know, the Badgers played unbelievably. My heart is broken for Texas because they're such a great team and they obviously didn't play a great match. But the parody in this sport is amazing. I just sat by a man who said this sport hands down is number one sport for women at, you know, in athletics, and it just made me so proud. I'm glad you found that fan. Well, one more question. You won two national titles. What is the moment that sticks out most to you from those runs? Just winning. <laughs> with a win on the national on this stage is so special. Seattle has been such a great host. I'm so fired up for these ladies. They're just their warriors and I you know so long ago I was one of them. Brings back good memories. Well, I'll let you go back and enjoy the rest of the game. Thanks so much. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much, uh, Maria and Carrie winning a couple of national championships at Stanford before winning three golds on the beach at the Olympics and Penn State Karch continues to roll on Micah Hancock's serve. Unbelievable. She's caused, she's forced Coach McLaughlin of Washington to burn all four of his timeouts to the last set, to this set, in just two long serving runs. That last ball almost knocked Van Zandt over. It's coming so hard. Just missed it long. Point Washington. But that huge run by her for a second set in a row has broken this wide open. Washington 10 points behind deep into the second set. the Hancock serve before that was broken up. Not a well-advised set as Washington's trying to figure out something to do differently on offense. If you're a Washington fan, you got to take heart in what happened last Saturday. They were pretty bad. They lost to USC the first two sets down 2-0. They go to the 10-minute intermission. They come back strong. Lots of match left for Washington. Munoz gets the point. We talked about it earlier tonight as Texas tried to rally from an 0-2 deficit. It has only happened once in the 33-year history of this tournament in the national semis. A team losing the first two sets and coming back to win the match. Now that was Stanford over Texas in 2008. Megan Courtney gets a swing, gets it through the block, and everything going well for Penn State. Now up to 537 versus 070. A very good hitting percentage. Wow. One error in the first set and none. One error in the second. Out of 41 swings. The thing you gotta fight through if you're Washington is that can they keep that up? Yeah. You got to think that Penn State's going to cool off a little. Washington has to clean its game up, and then they've got a shot. Wow, what a nice swing by Van Zandt. They probably just got to get every ball to her right yeah. now. She's got six kills now. Nobody's 
been playing volleyball since she was a toddler. Her mom, Tricia, coached her as a kid. Loves breaking down the game. Real meticulous in her preparation is Krista Van Sant. She might get another swing right here. 16 in purple. They send it out to her. Penn State able to disrupt. And now Ariel Scott. Gonzalez down to get it. Back row, McClendon. Boy, there are so many weapons. Just when you think you got Penn State controlled, they've got three front court hitters, and here comes Deja McClendon right down the middle. Lots of place, lots of space, and they like to hit that to her left around the two blockers for Washington. Eight kills now for McClendon. Good touch by Megan Courtney. And there's the block for Washington, denying Grant. This is where that two-setter offense of Washington, we see some of those misconnections. And when yep. each setter is only in half the time, that's part of the risk of that offense. It's like having two quarterbacks. They don't get as many reps each. Ace for Nagaris. And that's a staple for Washington, that kind of serve. Approaching at the line, trying to hit a ball with no spin, and he, hitting it very flat so it can drop or rise. Hancock. Grant gets the kill as Penn State inches closer to the set. And it's a deja vu here for Washington after falling down two in the region final and then coming back out of the locker room to win it in five. And what looks like they're going to have to try and do again here tonight in the semis. Nelson couldn't put it down. Back outside. Deja McClendon has been unstoppable thus far. She's hitting 500 now. She was huge three years ago when they won with her most, with her MOP, most outstanding player performance. And she's making a good case for herself if they can go on, win this match, go on to the final. Into the net from Rieto Cerami. Point Washington Van Sant back to serve. Hancock looks for Grant again. Set point, Penn State. That's exactly the, pen, the matchup Penn State wants. Near Grant on a five foot eight blocker in Cassie Strickland. Garris back set for Nelson. Point Washington. <laughs> Melanie Wade serving. And into the net. What a performance for Penn State. 